Welcome back everyone for update 3 of 3 and EOC did not disappoint with this one. So we're going to be going over everything new in this update and stay tuned because there is a lot to cover. First of all taking a look at the announcement it is surprising how early this was unfortunately it clashed with the PTFS update we were filming just two minutes ago but in this update we have police trailers, customizable duty belt, new spotlight, passenger spotlight and siren speakers. So yeah a lot to cover let's just hop right into this. Everything pretty much is on the police department, so it makes sense to hop on there. And let's start off with the customizable duty belt, I suppose. We'll head over to the locker here, go to gear, and we can find duty belt. There we go. So it is cadet. Everyone should have this unlocked. And if we go down, down to customize, we enter into this locker room. You can use the right mouse button to move your camera around and just drag these items around the duty belt where you'd like them to be. So you can see we've got a taser on, what would that be, the, the left side? of the G belt yeah we've got a flashlight which we can move around to the back we've got a couple of pouches as well the gun seems to be on the right which makes sense for the animations as well but yeah we can like if we wanted to we can move the taser around to the front move that around to the side and save that and then if we just go into here gear and duty belt equip that and as you can see the taser is now on the front that is pretty cool so a lot of people have been asking for duty belt for a long time or at least 3D duty belts and well finally it is here. The rest of this update is mostly on well here vehicle customization. So first of all let's go we'll use the 2019 interceptor to test this out. So if we go over to team accessories when we scroll down here uh, these are just a bunch of liveries we've been using in the server. So we have siren speakers. So if we select low profile one. Now, unfortunately, these don't actually do anything. They're, I think a lot of people in the PLC Discord were just talking about, oh, have they added custom uh, siren options? Unfortunately, no. Maybe in the future, we can have like a library of sirens to choose from. So you can see we've got four different uh, models, low profile one, conventional, compact and low profile two. Conventional is, oh, how can we, there we go. Conventional is like your older one, it's an actual siren and these low profile ones are more newer. Uh, there's currently a siren in that spot. But yeah, so you can see you can equip, there's three positions on the top, three positions on the bottom. And it's really nice actually, it's a nice, a nice detail that can work well in um, private service. I don't know why it isn't, there we go, equipping. Now we do also have spotlights. So we've got passenger spotlight, which means, well, we have one on both sides now. I know this is realistic for a lot of departments, so makes sense. Um, and then you can also choose between having a halogen or LED spotlight. We haven't really been able to test if this makes too much of a difference, apart from just being, um, well, different, as you can see, it's got different texture. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe one's brighter, maybe one lasts longer, I'm not entirely sure, but it would be cool if the halogen spotlight let off more of an orangish or yellowish light. Um, but yeah, that is pretty cool to see as well. And so you have two spotlights on your car. Now, of course, the main big thing with this update is trailers. So first of all, let's go and spawn in our um, 2019 utility. And we've now got this trailer spawn point right next to the vehicle spawn. Currently, there are two trailers. We've got the speed radar trailer, which was teased last night, and the equipment trailer. So we'll spawn in the speed radar trailer to test out first of all. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, it takes up a parking spot just beside our car there. And if we head over, we can unfold the sign and set a speed limit. So we can set that to 20, for example. And then when someone drives by, we'll set one of those up in a moment, uh, your speed will show on the camera, or well, on the screen, sorry, which is really nice. And I think they've done really well with the model, actually. Uh, it's got the license plate on it. It's got wheels. Well, yeah, I guess it's a trailer. I suppose that makes a lot of sense. Um, now, it does seem like some vehicles can tow and others can't. So if we reverse the 2019 up here, I'm curious to see if this will attach. Hold on. So if we attach, yeah, so no nearby vehicles are able to tow this. Well, thank you to Ollie for actually just informing me that you need to put a tow hook on your vehicle. So if we're in the customization menu. Let's scroll down. Perfect. So as you can see, it's only on certain vehicles, but we can enable a trailer hitch, which attaches well, a hitch onto the back of your truck. We can go and then spawn this in and we should then be able to tow our trailer. All right, let's back up here. We should be close enough there. Attach hitch. There we go. It is now attached. Um, I think you can probably drive with this up. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. You can. And we have trailers in EOC. 
This was teased around a month ago and finally we do have them in game and I'm very, very excited to try this out. Yeah, so any car driving past, it will just show their sc their speed on this um, screen here. Right, let's go and detach that and uh, try out the equipment trailer as well. So if we go over here, spawn trailer and get the equipment trailer spawned in. I'm curious, can you go inside this one? Because it looks like it should be able to have an interior. Yes, you can. Unfortunately, it is empty. There is nothing inside of here. Also, it looks like the textures are a bit bugged, but still, that is really, really cool. Let's hop into our vehicle here, go and grab this, and we're going to try Ollie's speed trap that he set up. Right, I've forgotten where Postal 800 is, so let's take a look at our map. And, okay, over on Riverside. Right, let's give this a try. Speed past. This is so cool, though. Definitely ending Police Week on a high. Trailers. Oh, yeah, I wonder if you could flip these, actually. It looks like you could quite easily to be very honest so yeah we should be able to see ollie up here with his trailer set up and i'm guessing your speed would flash up 93 jeez okay rocketing down the road good spot actually all the trailers do have brake lights which is a nice addition as well so yeah that is really cool actually there's a button on the side here. you can't use that to open it no never mind that's probably an indicator yeah that would make a lot of sense Anyways, great way to end off Police Week. Um, yeah, trailers are in the game. Uh, no game passes or anything, as some people were fearing. So you can just go and spawn these in once uh, you have them unlocked. Duty belts as well. Great for realism. And uh, if you pull out your gun, well, I've got an M4A1. But yeah, if you have a pistol, then it's a lot more realistic, I suppose. And you don't have to grab your own UGC utility belt. Yeah, very happy with how this update turned out. Uh, I'll have the full devlogs linked in the description if you want to check that out but enjoy the rest of your police week.